Hey everyone, Chubby Cornady here. Today I want to spend a little bit of time, I'm going to do a streaming of the World Wide Web. They just released their apartment builder. So here I have my medium apartment and I wanted to just give you a little tour on what the apartment builder looks like. It's a fairly new build, so there's going to be things that are not necessarily working. But essentially, as a medium apartment holder, I have 169 tiles, so individual tiles. I think small has 69 and the large has bigger, 369 maybe. And it allows you to add different stuff. So what I've learned coming in, one is there are eight rooms. So these are the rooms over here. I'll hover over them. And as I hover over them, you'll see the rooms being highlighted. I didn't know that. I thought they were different rooms you could play with. But So you can edit each room or each of these little spaces. So room one is this upper left one. And you can then click build. So you can add additional land, right? In this case, now I've exceeded it. And so I can, I'll just, I wish there was an undo button. Maybe there's no undo button. I'm in trouble. Okay, so now I'm back to 169. So I can delete. So you, in this case, I kind of created a little Mickey Mouse slash heart shape on my room. Uh, just going along with the Chubby Corn 80 theme here. And you can then change the floor. So let me hover over the room, click it, and let's change the floor to this little tile design. So it changes it there. Ooh, looks a little clashy from, from my view. But I'll go something like that, a little bit of a cleaner look. And you can also change the walls. So let's change it to bricks on this left side. And let me show you just these are the options. Maybe let's add some window space over here. And the floor, these are the floor options over here. So pretty cool. Now let's get into the exciting stuff. What I wish there was an option to zoom in, zoom out, but I think the way they built this is so that it is just an, a fixed canvas and then the size kind of depends. And so it is what it is. And so let's click on add furniture. So over here you have furniture, small items, floor items, wall items, front doors, NFTs. Before I get into this stuff, let's jump straight to the NFTs because that's where all the exciting stuff is, right? So I can click on an NFT painting and I think, oh, I got a little space right here. So it's in, it's this weird 2.5 D space. So it's kind of weird to so have to kind of play around with it until you get the hover over it. So this is going to go in that wall here and then it's going to my wallet. It's picking uh, just the NFTs I have in my wallet. Got a lot of chubby friends. Now, a few things that's not showing up is filaments. Uh, I think that's a generative art. It's an animated, so apparently it's not being pulled in. Got some stuff that's not being pulled in. My chubby corns. I think I've displayed all these art. Let's uh, add my uh, shiny object social club mag number 28. And there it is. So it kind of creates a virtual display gallery for your NFTs. Super cool, of course. And let's add some furniture. I got the air hockey table. I don't think I got one. Let's, let's add an air hockey table. Show you what that experience looks like. So here's my little play space over here. And let's add it right there. So we have an air hockey table. I got a pool table. Once you drop it down, um, you can click move, duplicate, or delete. Let's see here's delete. And I have, ooh, you can rotate it. Okay, I got it. So I thought this was rotate. It is not rotate. So let me hit escape and you can move your character by clicking around let's add furniture and so as you go down here like the bookcase here there's four different styles and I guess that rotate gives you the option to go through the styles it does not rotate the furniture itself so let's do an example like this couch or this chair there are four chairs front facing right facing back facing, let's call it like that, and then left facing. So you, there'll be four furniture pieces. There's no rotation abilities. Um, I presume they'll start building some of these user experience functionalities later on. Like for this conference table, let's put a conference table in. I want to rotate this to fit in the space here, but there is no option. So let's see if we can do it. Nope, I cannot rotate it. And these are grayed out because there's nothing you can do with this conference table. But let's move it. Uh, let's put it conference table in this room over here. So I added my NFTs. I showed you the floors, 
moving objects around. Let's add a few more things so I can show you. And the small items here. Got cookies, cushions, old school game console. And this is a pixelated art, so it's kind of interesting. Ramen noodle. Let's see what we can do with this ramen noodle. I want to put it on a conference table. So now it just sits on the floor. And it is a little hard to kind of... I don't think I can get it on there. Nope, it's conflicting. I could put ramen on the floor. Definitely, so a little bit of bugs. And if you click save, it will save it. And if you click this little bottom, save and close build mode, it will get into play mode. So my apartment now is in play mode. Here's me. I can move around my apartment. Check it out. Check out my NFTs. There's no zoom in. I don't see any ability to zoom in. This is just my browser zooming in function. And there it is. Kind of cool. That's the apartment builder. So as a medium land owner, the World Wide Web game. I can build out some of this play space. And the other cool function I want to show you is if you go to OpenSea. This actually updates in real time. So the little display here, I think, I wonder if I don't, yeah, it doesn't work. But um, you can actually do a little preview. So what I don't know is if someone buys my apartment, what happens to all these save settings? Do they get it? Uh, clearly that I'm not going to get my NFTs, but I wonder what happens when it transfers hands. So, but not selling it for a while. This is the World Wide Web uh, experience. It's actually quite cool. And I will end it there. So thanks for watching.